My journey started when I studied human movement sciences and suddenly I was asked to apply for a job in the pharmaceutical industry, which I didn't know anything about. So a new world opened for me. I'm not sure whether it would be uh, a world where I would deliberately choose to be in, but when I was in there, it was really interesting to see um, the whole process of getting a drug to market, how much effort you need to put in and uh, um, yeah, what small te steps you have to make before uh, a product is, uh, is, is to be used in human. Yeah, I did, I did a lot of things there, but before I knew it, I was pulled back in the water um, going for the Olympics in 2000. So I spent one year being a professional water polo player. When the Olympics were over, I was like, okay, so I need to find a job again. And started at Genzyme. After already a few months, I started there as a project manager. I discovered that I learned from the Olympics that it's not about systems, it's not about processes, but in the end, it's the, it's, it's the humans, it's the people that make it happen are the most important um, asset in, in, uh, in, in the process. Taking that sidestep helped me realizing that things that I like to do as part of my job are not necessarily the things that I like to do full time. Um, and I think that's, that's maybe the same experience I had when I played uh, water polo full time. Um, it's nice to play water polo beside a job and a, a normal life. But if you are a full time professional, I was, I was bored. I think the most important thing is, is persisting. Uh, you, you, have to, you have to train a lot. Um, you have to have a focus. I think people who wanna, who wanna make a, a change or, or are finding their, their, their first job, I think you, you have to uh, pursue what, you, what your wish is and your ambition, but also keep in mind that it, that it can be a disappointment. It's, it's, it's always possible that people see your talent but don't pick you and don't see that as a personal failure, but as a, uh, a result of that there are so many choices and there might also be people who are, have just a little bit more experience. And if, if, you, if you are still open to find ways which are not exactly your ambition, but a little bit, you get there at the end. Um, again, to, to do the parallel with water polo, my ambition was to be an Olympic champion. I ended fourth. It took a while to kind of learn from that and give it a place. I, I know that it's, it, it sounds weird, but they, they compare that kind of things with losing somebody or, uh, you know, worse things in life. And I know that I lived in a kind of um, unconscious way for the next six months. It, it's the best learning experience. And it's not learning from your mistakes, but it's, it's learning because you follow your ambition. I think the worst thing is doing nothing because you can't make mistakes, but you don't learn anything. So do what your ambition is, do what you, what you wanna do, go for it, even if you don't think that you have the talent or you have the, 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 the competencies, go for it. And then in the end, be happy with the things that you achieved.